Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my video. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead, subscribe, share this video, like it, comment, all of those good things, okay? So today's video is going to simply be about how you can lose weight without even exercising. Mm. Uh, just by simply counting your calories and keeping track of that, um, that'll help you to lose weight. So that's what I'm going to explain in this video. How to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose weight. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so first things first. You do not have to exercise in order to lose weight. This video is going to be geared toward more of the beginner friendly people. The people who are just like myself when I started just trying to start somewhere. Okay. So if you're not ready to exercise, you're not physically in that condition and you just want to create a habit, this is what you can do. Okay. Because diet, what you eat, that's going to make up 80% of the results that you see long term. Exercising is going to be about 20%. All right, so you don't necessarily have to start exercising right off in order to lose weight. You can incorporate that later on down the line if you so choose, okay? So basically the way you do that is by being in a calorie deficit. And I'm going to look down for my definition. What a calorie deficit is, is to consume, which is eat or drink less calories than you burn on a daily basis, okay? So whatever amount of calories you're eating right at this very moment, you just want to eat fewer, Okay, and that will help you to lose the weight. All right. So the first thing that you need to know in order to even start is how many calories you currently eat on a daily basis to maintain your current weight. So currently, if you're 100, just for example, 180 pounds, how many calories does it take for you to be 180 pounds? How many calories do you eat on a daily basis to maintain that weight? Okay. The second thing, once you know that number, um, you just want to lower the amount of calories you eat on a daily basis in order to start seeing uh, weight loss and seeing results, okay? That's pretty simple. Find out how much you're eating and eat less, okay? Now, the most of us don't even know how much we eat to maintain. So most of us don't even know how many calories that we consume on a daily basis to maintain our weight. We just kind of intuitively eat and eat what we want when we want. All right. The easiest way to find out that number is to use a calorie calculator. All right. I'm going to put in the description box a link to a free calorie calculator um, that will help you determine that information. Now, note disclaimer, <laughs> just keep in mind that the calculator is only going to give you a general idea of what you're currently eating to maintain your weight and what you currently I mean, and what you should do in the future in order to lose weight, because it's going to vary for each person, health conditions, a just different things. So you want to take that as a general guide to help you and not as law. OK, every person is different. So see your physician, your doctor, whoever you need to see to confirm that that's right for you. OK, this is just to kind of sorry, y'all just hearing my face. This is trying to uh, this is just to help you get started. All right. So again, I'm going to include that link in the description box and it's going to be general information that is you, you need to input in order to um, get the numbers you need. You'll need your age, your gender, height, weight, and activity level. And activity level is just if you're sedentary where you don't do much moving at all, maybe you have a desk job um, or if you have a more strenuous job, if you work out frequently, it's just going to have different activity levels. Once you input all of that information, Excuse me, y'all. Then the calculator is going to tell you the amount of calories that you currently eat to maintain your weight. It's going to compute that for you. All right. And then it's also going to give you an option. Um, if you want to lose weight, it's going to tell you how many calories you can eat to see mild weight loss, extreme weight loss, slow weight loss. So if you want to lose half a pound a week, a pound a week, two pounds a week, Whatever it is, it's going to give you those different numbers or suggestions that you can eat and intake in order to lose weight. If you're on the flip side of that and you're trying to gain weight, it also is an option to show you what you need to do to increase gradually, extremely in order to um, gain that weight. So that's all you need to know. Once you have that and you know what you need um, as far as your calories, then that's it. 
okay? So for example, if right now to maintain your current weight, if you eat 2,500 calories a day, right? And that has you at 180 pounds then basically you can just cut it down some. So instead of eating 2,500 calories, maybe you'll eat 2,200 calories. And then you may see, for example, uh, a pound a week of weight loss, okay? So that's just to kind of help you get started. All right, so the next thing that I would recommend to help you track those calories, because most of us don't do that. I didn't do that before I started my journey. I would download an app called My Fitness Pile. Pal, <laughs> my fitness pal. I'll put all that stuff in the description box, okay? It basically is a place where you can log and keep track of your food. You'll like scan in the barcodes of different food items. Sometimes you can type in the name or different brands. Um, just uh, or you can manually input the information and it's going to tell you how many calories are in an item, how much protein, the macronutrients, the fats, the carbs fiber, all of that kind of stuff, all right? This will help you every time you eat. You can go ahead and log it so you know, okay, I already ate 500 calories for today. I have about 1,500 left. I have 2,000 left, however much you're eating, okay? And guys, this is gonna be a lifestyle change. So you're gonna have to do things that are uncomfortable and are different. You're gonna have to start paying attention to labels. I never paid attention to labels before. I would just eat whatever it was, you know, a little snack. For example, if you work in an office type of setting, uh, most of us rush to get our kids ready for school. We rush to get ourselves ready for school. By the time we sit down to eat, before we have to go to work or start our day, we have five minutes to get on the clock and you usually go to a vending machine, right? Get you a honey bun and some orange juice, right? That's light. That's just something to hold you. I'm sorry, that's my baby. That's just something to hold you over until, you know, you can eat. Do you know how many calories are normally in the honey buns, especially ones with all the frosting and stuff? It could be like four to 500 calories in one small honey bun. Orange juice, especially the artificial, the one that's not natural with all the sweet and sugar and stuff in there. It could be like two, 300 in, uh, calories in the drink. Okay, so you have to start prioritizing yourself and your health. Okay, you can get way more satiating meal uh, with more whole foods or less calories than you can with that. So you can still eat. You don't have to eat like a rabbit, but you're just going to change some things. So when you think about it, you don't want that honey bun as much if you only got 2,200 calories for the day and that's taking up 500 and it's not going to put a dent in nothing. Okay, so you have to start paying attention more to labels. First thing I would say is just look at the calories. That's the first thing I did. Before I was looking at protein and all the nutrients, I just was seeing how many calories was in something. If you stick to that, you will see results. Okay, and then gradually, when you look at the labels, start looking at how much protein, how much carbohydrates, how much fats are in something. If the foods that you're eating are mainly carbs and you're barely getting any protein and then they're empty carbs, like you're eating fast food or stuff that's sugary and not good for you, then you know, you're not giving your body what it needs. So then you can try to start increasing the protein, decreasing the carbs. Basically, what I'm saying, guys, is you all, you need a balanced diet. I'm not on any specific diet. It's just balance. I get a healthy amount of fats, of carbs, and proteins. I would say if I had to calculate my ratio, I eat about 40% protein, 30% carbs, and 30% fats. Okay? The way you can know what you're eating, again, is by the app. The app it's free. They have a free version. Now, with the free version, it definitely tracks the calories. It doesn't go, it still will track also your macronutrients like the proteins and things. But if you want a more detailed version, once you get like further along, then you can uh, get the paid version. But again, just start with the free version and you can just kind of see that, um, what you're intaking, okay? That's going to help. So I wouldn't recommend any specific diet, just have a balanced diet. You don't have to cut out carbs, you don't have to cut out fats, you don't have to have this and that. Just do what is best for your body by speaking with your doctor, by listening to your body. Um, and that's basically what I recommend, guys. So that was pretty easy, simple, quick video. All you need to do is less than your calories and then once you get comfortable with that if you want to add exercise definitely that will just help you and double up on what you're already doing 
So I'm definitely going to make another video. That video will kind of go into the next step. I think I'm going to do a grocery haul. I'm going to show you guys the type of foods that I eat because I get a lot of questions from people who like, okay, well, I want to do it, but I don't feel like eating different kind of foods or I, me and my kids eat the same thing. I don't want to have to do this or this, you know, they, I think they have a mm, misconception about what they need to eat. So the next video, and it's going to be sometime probably next week, it's going to be a grocery haul. Well, I'm just going to show you guys the different options that I choose in order to have a balanced diet. The best balanced diet for me. How about that? Okay. So, I just want to thank you all for watching, for your support. Again, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. I'm going to wait. Okay. If you ain't shared this video, go ahead and share the video now. I'm going to wait. All right. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and like the video. I'm going to wait. Okay. I love y'all. Peace, bye, blessings. Bye.